In Galveston, winds ripped the golden arches right off of a McDonald's sign, wires and cables hanging from the debris. The rain whipped in sideways near the beach. Back here in central Texas, the hey, community of Bastrop, plagued by wildfires, now prepping for possible flooding. The night beats Tina Shively is live at Bastrop County Incident Command Post with the latest. Tina? Yeah, Mike, the command center for the county is set up here behind me. Several agencies all working together, all aware that the worst of Harvey is yet to come. No matter where you are, you got something to deal with. Jerry Dubrava should know. But it doesn't snow down here. To him, floodwaters are less of a threat than the long, snowy nights he spent driving a tractor trailer in New York State. We still had to go. My boss said he used to tell us we have chains. So living down here is a blessing. These sandbags the city of Bastrop provided free of charge will soon sit near his front door, just in case the water creeps up at his Tahitian village home. He moved here in 2011 just after the historic Lost Pines fire scorched 35,000 acres. He says this time Bastrop has plenty of warning. The forewarning has had the opposite effect on Michelle Smith. A little bit. A little bit. Despite living in Riverside Grove for 19 years. Went to the grocery store on Monday, stocked up on food, which I've never done. Um, getting sandbags, which I've never done. Went and bought, you know, extra batteries for our cell phones in case we lose power. I mean, I've never done any of that. But I just, something's telling me this one's not going to be just wind and rain. She lives just blocks from the Colorado River, which will soon be under a flood warning. Until then, she hopes her sandbags will keep her AC unit dry. Bass drop's been through so much. Um, we don't need another flood. Now, oh, in addition to this incident command center, Bastrop also has a uh, shelter open on Smithville on Gasly Street. That's for county residents who are already concerned about that flooding. Reporting live in Bastrop tonight, Tina Shively, KVU News Nightbeat. Thank you, Tina.